Good morning, boys and girls. So glad to see you this morning. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me as we talk about one of God's creatures. One of the creatures that is so small and yet the fastest little bird in the whole planet. Anybody know what the smallest bird is? You've probably seen it in your backyard. You know that it's, that's right, it's called hummingbird. That's right, and it gets its name from its wings flapping together so fast. In fact, its wings go in a figure eight motion, and it flaps those wings so fast 50 to 80 per second. Do you know how fast a second is? Just like a snap of your fingers. Can you snap your fingers? That's it. That's how fast that bird flaps those wings and it makes a humming sound. And when it's diving, it goes up to um, 200 of those flaps per second. That's how fast it is. A hummingbird is um, such a beautiful little creature, and um, they, their um, journeys, they're so fast that they go from 49 miles an hour. That's as fast as your mom and dad's car goes uh, on the way up to the freeway. And um, they fly forward, backward, upside down, and they hover. That's how uh, interesting that little acrobatic bird is. By the way, I brought something very interesting today for you to see. Hi, Cooper. Come to join us. It's a little nest. It's a real hummingbird nest. That's right. And it's about the size around of a quarter. And these little hummingbirds make their a nest out of little tiny twigs and pieces of hair and um, this looks like a feather even stuck in there. Isn't that beautiful? And they usually have like two net eggs per season. See, I have another one. This one I've had for, oh goodness, probably 30 years. So it's so beautiful, those little nests. And they're just in the trees. And sometimes if you look closely, you might find one. I'm going to show you a picture of a hummingbird. They're such a colorful bird. They are green sometimes on their chest, kind of iridescent and red on their tails. They're very, very beautiful. And they're, they fly around in that backyard and they touch up to a thousand to 2,000 flowers per day to get that sweet nectar that they're looking for. They're always looking for the most beautiful, colorful flowers. Um, their little hearts, their little hearts beat so fast. Our heart beats somewhere between 70 and 100 beats per minute and their hearts beat 1200 beats per minute is that just incredible so fast and they live only about three to five years now someone once said that a hummingbird is is like a all the colors of the rainbow mixed together with liquid fire they're just a very colorful, iridescent looking bird. You know, we can learn something from the hummingbird, and that is that they are looking for the beautiful in those flowers. And if we thought for a minute that we could look for the beautiful and the good every day, be so good, I think that's the way God would like us to live, to look for the good and the beautiful. I would like, I hope you enjoyed this story. I'm going to, um, you know, one thing 
I'm going to um, show you this picture and I'll have it downloaded on the computer and it says God made the hummingbirds and you can color it. That would be fun during the week. So um, let's just close our eyes now and thank God for the hummingbirds. Father, thank you for the hummingbirds and how beautiful they are, Lord, and how how amazing their little bodies are put together. Thank you, Lord, for them. And thank you for each child listening to my voice. I pray that you will bless each one all the days of their life. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today.